Turbo Girl, you look great today. Yes, teacher. Yesterday, I played mathematics game with Turbo Boy and won these stickers from him. I like these stickers very much. What a nice prize! How many stickers do you have? Let me count. Ten, twenty. Hmm. I don't know how to count on. Don't worry. The following story will help you. Story, fantastic! What is the name of the story? It is a story about tens. The tens family lived in a small town. One night, Mrs. Tens gave each of her ten sons a small bag. They were told to put their bags into the garden soil in front of their house and went to sleep after that. Next morning, when the ten brothers woke up, they were shocked to see that there were many carrots in the garden. The parents asked the ten brothers to go and pluck the carrots. A while later, first brother came back and laid the carrots on the floor. Wow! I have ten carrots," he said. The second brother came in. Ah! I have two tens of carrots. He said to the first brother. I have twenty carrots. The third brother also laid the carrots in tens. He counted. Ten, twenty, thirty. I have three tens of carrots. That is thirty carrots. He said to the second brother. The fourth brother also laid the carrots in tens. He counted. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Wow! I have four tens of carrots. Forty carrots I have," he said happily. The fifth brother also laid the carrots in tens. He counted: ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Smilingly, he said, "I have five tens of carrots, fifty carrots." Suddenly, a voice came up from somewhere. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. Ha ha ha! I have six tens of carrots. Sixty carrots," the sixth brother cheerfully said. "Don't forget me, brothers." The seventh brother said excitedly, "I have ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy. Seventy carrots." That is seven tens of carrots. It is not a big deal. Let me count my carrots. The eighth brother shouted from far away. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. Yes, yes, yes! I have eight tens of carrots. That is eighty carrots. Walking very slowly with heavy footsteps, the ninth brother very tightly said, 
10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. I have nine tens of carrots. That is ninety carrots. Suddenly, they heard a loud boom sound from behind. It's their tenth brother. He was covered in a mountain of carrots. The nine brothers began to remove the pile of carrots in tents and lay them tidily on the ground and they began to count. Ten, twenty. The brothers begin to count. When the ninth brother counted to ninety, the tenth brother suddenly stood up and laughed. <laughs> I have one hundred carrots. The end. Turbogo, what have you learned from this story? Teacher, now I can count and spell these words out. They are T E N. Ten. T W E N T Y. Twenty. T H I R T Y. Thirty. F O R T Y. Forty. F I F T Y. Fifty. S I X T Y sixty S E V E N T Y seventy E I G H T Y eighty N I N E T Y ninety O N E H U N D R E D. One hundred. I can also write these number symbols out. They are ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, and one hundred. Very good, Turbo Girl. Now tell me how many stickers do you have? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Wow, I have 80 stickers. That's right. Turbo Girl, do you know how to count numbers from 20 to 30? Hmm, can you teach me? Just like counting numbers from 11 to 20, we circle two tens first. This is 20. What is the next number? Just add one more carrot to it. What is 20 plus 1? 20 plus 1 is 21. Each time I add one more carrot, I get a new number. They are 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. It is very interesting to count in this way. Would you like to try, Turbo Girl? Okay, I am trying to count 20 numbers after 30. 
First, I make three circles to represent three tens. Then I count 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Now I have four circles for four tens. I go on counting 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Teacher, now I can count numbers all the way to 100. Really? Okay, count 10 numbers after 60. I put 6 circles to represent 6 tens first. Then I count 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Well done, Turbo Go. Turbo Go, we have learnt the number symbols from 21 to 100. You should also know how to spell and read them out. Do you know how to spell and read this number out? This number is actually four tens and five ones. Four tens is forty. Five ones is five. So it is spelled as F O R T Y F I V E. Forty five. Well done. Try these numbers out. It's not difficult. Thirty one is T H I R T Y O N E. Forty two is F O R T Y T W O. Fifty three is F I F T Y T H R E E. Fifty eight is F I F T Y E I G H T. Sixty four is S I X T Y F O U R. Seventy five is S E V E N T Y F I V E. Eighty six is E I G H T Y S I X. Ninety-seven is N I N E T Y S E V E N. Ninety-nine is N I N E T Y N I N E. Very good. Now let us move on to the activity. Turbo Go, how many tens are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six tens. Now tell me how many ones there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven ones. Good. What is the number for six tens and seven ones? Six tens is sixty. And seven ones is seven. Thus, the number is sixty-seven. There are sixty-seven eggs in the picture. Well done. What about this? There are four tens and five ones, which is forty-five. Thus, there are forty-five apples in the picture. 
Clever girl. It's time to try out the activity. Tell a girl, are you familiar with tens and ones? Of course, teacher. I can solve many problems about tens and ones. Okay, tell me how many tens and ones are there. There are eight tens and six ones in eighty-six. Well, Turbo Girl, I can't believe it. You are so talented. Want to try some other questions? Come on, teacher. I am already geared up for the challenge. There are nine tens and three ones in ninety-three. In forty-two. There are four tens and two ones. You did it very well, Tower Girl. Tower Girl, do you know what is ten more than sixty? Now there are seven tens in the picture. Thus, ten more than sixty is seventy. What about ten less than sixty-four? After crossing out one ten from the picture, there are five tens and four ones left. Therefore. Ten less than sixty-four is fifty-four. Good job. Another question. I have thirty-four pence. If I give you four pence, how many pence will I have? This is a picture of thirty-four pence. After I cross out four pence, there are three tens left. Therefore, teacher, you will have thirty pence. Want to try more difficult question? Okay. What is seven more than fifty-six? There are five tens and six ones in fifty-six. I add seven ones to six ones. Seven ones and six ones make thirteen ones. I know one ten is ten ones. Now there are six tens and three ones. So seven more than fifty-six is sixty-three. You did it very well, Tower Girl. Last one for you. What is six less forty-two? Hmm, teacher. There are not enough ones to be crossed out. Thus, I got to borrow one ten from four tens. One ten is ten ones. Now there are three tens and twelve ones. I cross out six ones from twelve ones to get six ones. So six less than forty-two is thirty-six. Excellent work, Turbo Girl. It seems that you have learned a lot in this lesson. Turbo Girl, time flies. It's the end of this lesson. Turbo Girl, tell me what you've learned today. Wow, teacher, I have learned a lot today. I know how to count numbers by tens to one hundred. They are ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, and one hundred. I have also learned how to read and write the number symbols and number words. They are very useful. I can also tell how many tens and how many ones make up a given number. Last one, I can find the number which is ten less than or ten more than a given number within one hundred. Well said, Turbo Girl. We end here. See you the next lesson. Have a nice day, Turbo Girl. You too. Goodbye, teacher.